Thank you, Madam Speaker. <clears throat> Madam Speaker, I rise to commemorate the long-standing bond of our Midwest community uh, the, with the, for the fight in 55th Wing, the United States Air Force Wing, right here at uh, Offutt Air Force Base in Nebraska. <clears throat> it has units all over the world. The 55th Wing and the 55th Wing Association will jointly celebrate a uniquely treasured relationship at this year's reunion in April that will feature numerous dedications and commemorative events. The fight in 55th's historic lineage began before World War II. Since 1940, the unit has distinguished itself as a preeminent Air Force organization, flying and supporting worldwide operations in peace and conflict. Of note, the 55th Fighter Group conducted fighter sweeps over the invasion beaches on June 6, 1944, using their P-38s. In 1966, the fight in 55th transferred to Nebraska as part of the Strategic Air Command. For over 50 years, the 55th Wing personnel have supported national interests around the world, primarily focusing on providing first-class reconnaissance, real-time intelligence, command and control, information warfare, and combat support capabilities. It's the largest wing in Air Combat Command and flies the most diverse types of aircraft. Notably, since Desert Shield and Storm, the 55th Wing is the only Air Force Wing with continuous operations and maintenance and aircraft presence in the United States Central Command Theater of Operations. Indeed, the sheer longevity of the story unit's history and global mission reach personifies their motto, the sun never sets on the fight in 55th. The unit's exceptional record of service was the catalyst for the 55th Wing Association's creation. Following decades of the fight in 55th camaraderie, global deployments, and operational achievements, a handful of veteran aviators were determined to preserve this invaluable heritage so it would not be lost to future generations. This innovative initial cadre formed the 55th Strategic Reconnaissance Wing Association to serve alongside the Office 55th Strategic Reconnaissance Wing Active Duty Force. Both organizations were eventually renamed to today's 55th Wing and 55th Wing Association, respectively, and they've remained in Nebraska ever since. The 55th Wing Association is comprised of Air Force veterans who served honorably in the fight in 55th, most of whom were stationed at Offutt Air Force Base. The 55th Wing Association's support to their active duty counterparts is second to none, and its support to the 55th Wing alumni is a model for other Air Force organizations to emulate. It embodies the impressive relationship between alumni veterans and active duty military members, and they have it in their credo, honoring those who served and serving those who do. It could not be said any better. The bond between veteran citizens and military personnel is nothing short of remarkable. These organizations demonstrate the very best of cooperation to serve our national interests, and it sustains the organizational values and fosters military fellowship from as far back as those who served in World War II to those of the present. We still fight, flight, and win our nation's battles right now. The relationship will forever be enshrined at the many ceremonies in Nebraska on April 6th, where monuments will be dedicated to the alumni of the fight in 55th, past, present, and future. In 2003, the 55th Wing Association captured the inspirational essence of their history in choosing the following inscription on the Air Force Museum monu Monument. And it says, we must never forget that freedom is never really free. It is the most costly thing in the world and freedom is never paid in a lump sum. Payments come due in every generation. All any of us can do is to offer the generations that follow a chance for freedom. The 55th Wing Association also chose these same words for inclusion on the monuments they will dedicate this April. They are fitting praise for the accomplishments of the past and a challenge to the fight in 55th for the future. Just 11 days ago, Nebraska was hit with the worst natural disaster in the history of our state. And a third of Offutt Air Force Base was damaged, including key operations and support facilities. The fight in 55th never missed a beat, supporting operations all over the world. The indomitable spirit of our fight in 55th led the Secretary of the Air Force, Heather Wilson, to say, not even Mother Nature can defeat the 55th Wing. So after 75 years as an organizational flying wing, over a half century based in Nebraska, and more than 25 consecutive years deployed in the Middle East for combat operations, the fight in 55th deserves our highest respect 
and I'm honored to salute the 55th Wing Association for all its efforts to preserve its rich heritage. I yield back to balance my time, and thank you, Madam Speaker.